welcome to the the redox initiation mechanism under the edges of uh, radical chain polymerization and if you recall that in the previous uh, lecture uh, we initiated this thing with uh, attributed to the redox reaction and we discussed couple of concepts attributed to this uh, redox initiation uh, let us have a brief look about that what we discussed in the previous lectures. Uh, we discussed about the stability and half life of uh, various initiator. Um, we discussed about uh, the dependence of uh, polymerization rate on initiator. Uh, we had a discussion about uh, the dependence on monomer with the special attention to the initiation in aqueous media and if you recall that we discussed various mechanism in the previous lecture related to the, the this initiation aspect in aqueous media. Uh, now in this uh, uh, particular uh, lecture we are going to discuss the redox reaction redox initiation reaction which we um, uh, covered briefly in the previous lecture and uh, we discussed the uh, if you recall that in the previous lecture we discussed the initiation in aqueous media. Now the another concept is that what will happen in the in the non aqueous media. So we will have a look about that uh, those concepts attributed to the, the redox initiation in NOx non aqueous media. Then uh, we will try to cover the redox polymerization rate and again it is a very very good phenomena and a very interesting phenomena which need to be addressed under the head of uh, polymer reaction engineering. Now let us uh, discuss uh, this thing under the edges of uh, stability and half life of these initiator with the uh, peroxo monosulfate. Uh, now you see that here we presented the small, small uh, uh, pictorial depiction of this uh, peroxy monosulfate that is uh, HSO5 uh, negatively charged. This can be used as uh, a water soluble initiator for vinyl polymerization. Now cobalt 2 and uh, uh, silver can be used for the catalytic decomposition of these uh, peroxy monosulfate and these uh, metal ions uh, uh, can be oxidized to form uh, cobalt 3 and Ag2 intermediates respectively. So, these uh, oxidized metal ion or oxidized metal ion can directly react with the monomer to generate the free radicals. Let us have a look about this uh, particular thing. Uh, this uh, the peroxy peroxo mono sulfate. Now, this uh, HSO5 negatively charged plus CO2 plus may give you CO plus OH minus. Similarly, now if we are having one monomer site. Now, this is uh, 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 the oxidized metal ion, this can directly react with uh, this uh, particular monomer. Now, um, uh, we can see uh, from the equation that uh, sometimes uh, uh, CO3 after producing free radicals, uh, they can reduce to CO2. Now, let us have a look about this particular approach that is uh, CO 3 plus plus uh, H2O this one and uh, SO4 plus H2O HSO4. Now if you see that uh, this uh, can reduce to um, CO2. Now this means that uh, the metal ion is also working as a catalyst for the polymerization reaction. Now peroxomonosulfate uh, due to its high oxidation state 
as compared with uh, cobalt 3 and uh, uh, can oxidize uh, cobalt 2 and cobalt 2 cobalt 3 and uh, cobalt 3 is a highly reactive metal ion and it can easily oxidize the water molecules present in the solution and generating hydroxyl radical. Let us have a look about uh, this uh, particular approach in this uh, particular slide. Now, the rate of polymerization reaction, this uh, uh, shows the dependency uh, of the order of say 1.5 to 1 and 0.5 for acrylonitrile peroxy monosulfates and cobalt 2 respectively. And this was studied uh, way ahead by, uh, by Brown and White and uh, they described this particular um, concept. Now, another thing is uh, attributed to this uh, um, uh, concept is the peroxy diphosphate. Now, sometimes metal ions like uh, Ag, cobalt 2, vanadium 5 plus and acids, they can form an eff efficient redox pair with the peroxy diphosphate PDP, sometimes referred as PDP in an aqueous media for the polymerization of uh, acrylonitrile. Now, the mechanism is almost similar to peroxo disulfate and uh, it can be initiated as H2P2O82 minus plus Ag plus this can give you HPO4 H. PO42 minus plus Ag2 plus this is uh, the part of uh, first step you can refer as uh, step 1. Now, similarly this uh, HPO4 plus M that is monomer, it can give you H P O O and O H radical, this is bonded with this one. So, this uh, say we can say that this is uh, our M 1 and uh, this is attributed to step 2. Then if we say that uh, uh, if we talk about the propagation aspect, then you can represent like this m plus m 1, it may give you and uh, this uh, m n plus m n M, M radical, this may give you M N N plus 1. So, this is uh, your propagation reaction. So, this is uh, the uh, some of the things which uh, are uh, related to the polymerization part. Now, CO2 as compared to the Ag1 ion shows uh, different mechanism and uh, we have already discussed this thing, they does not consumed during the process and uh, it can be set to work as a catalyst over here. Now, peroxy diphosphate uh, Fe 2 system uh, can also be used for producing single radical species of uh, HPO4. So, let us give uh, uh, some, some more examples uh, related to this uh, particular uh, concept. Now, uh, we were talking about uh, cobalt 2. So, CO or sometimes is uh, refer as to CO2 plus. Now, if we take this example like H2P2O8 2 minus plus CO2 plus PO4 2 minus plus H PO4 plus CO this is uh, under the head of uh, first step to 
step plus you can refer as a step 1. Now, um, uh, we can see that uh, this HPO4 plus this monomer may get you may get this uh, monomer radical and uh, CO3 plus plus M this may give you another monomer radical. So, this may referred as uh, step number 2. So, these two steps now let us talk about uh, Fe which we were discussing uh, uh, about uh, that is uh, for Fe 2 plus this may give you H 2 P 2 O 8 2 minus plus F E this may give you H P O 4 radical plus H P O 4 2 negative uh, uh, charge then F E 3 plus. So, this is uh, the things which we were talking about in this uh, particular lecture. Now, there are uh, uh, several metal ions being used for uh, redox uh, initiation. So, various uh, metal ion, so when combined with the suitable reducing agent, uh, they can initiate the redox reaction. Now, one electron transfer reaction they involve during this process they helps to initiate free radical polymerization. The one of the uh, this category is the manganese. Um, you can see this is representation M n. So, various studies being uh, conducted by Nayak et al for the use of this manganese for uh, as a redox uh, behavior. Uh, with the suitable acid and alcohol. So, they studied and they carried out extensive work in this uh, area and uh, they demonstrated uh, the redox behavior of uh, these uh, manganese ion. Now, for manganese 3 organic acid uh, redox system, the order of reactivity for acrylonitrile polymerization, they took the example of acrylonitrile polymerization. So, they give the citric acid, then tartaric acid, ascorbic acid, oxalic acid, succinic acid, uh, glutaric acid, adipic acid, etcetera. Now, for um, magnesium ion uh, alcohol redox system, the order of uh, reactivity is bit changed for MMA or methyl methacrylate polymerization. It becomes the 1 propanol, then glycerol, then ethylene glycol, isobutyl alcohol, 1 butanol. 1,2-propanodiol, uh, uh, then uh, cycloheptanol, then cyclohexanol, then cyclopentanol. So, this is uh, the, the way they can uh, proceed for the different type of polymerization. So, these two examples implicates about the use of these uh, manganese ion in the redox initiation reaction. Now, since we discuss uh, this thing, let us have a look about the mechanism which is involved um, in this uh, particular type of manganese attributed uh, redox initiation. Now, this uh, here you see that uh, we are using manganese. Now, here M n plus reducing agent, you may take any reducing agent, it may become the complex and it is a very popular uh, uh, type of thing in the polymerization reaction. And this complex, uh, whatever you formed in due course of time, it can give you this one. Now, this uh, radical uh, may get uh, combination with uh, the monomer to give you this uh, radical uh, monomer. Now, this uh, radical monomer may get combined with another monomer to give you this one. So, by this way you see that uh, we induced the radical character in this monomer and this subsequently pass on. So, that so you can see that uh, the uh, this uh, facilitates the propagation step. So, further if we carry on the polymerization then it may become R M N R 
m n plus m r like this or sometimes you may refer as r m n manganese m n plus m n plus h plus. So, uh, uh, for example, in uh, this uh, uh, m n 3 plus uh, uh, ethoxy uh, say acetic acid acid system. Let us have a look about this one. This is m 3 plus ethoxy acetic acid. Now, here we are having this uh, C 2 H 5 O C H 2 C O O H. This is my monomer plus M N. Now, this C 2 H 5 O C O 2 plus H plus plus M N 2 plus. This is my primary radical. You see that uh, in this uh, uh, particular uh, example, we are discussing this uh, manganese concept. Now, here uh, the rate of a reaction, sometimes people ask about the rate of a reaction. So, the rate of reaction is directly proportional to this particular reaction or H plus. So, there is no dependency upon this uh, uh, particular thing. Now, if we see that uh, this uh, another example is uh, attributed to the KMnO4. Now, this KMnO4 is a source of providing Mn7 plus uh, uh, so, uh, thing now which uh, in due course of time get oxidized to manganese dioxide. Now, this produced dioxide in presence of a monomer can generate the reactive Mn3 plus ion, which uh, uh, further generate the free radical with a reducing agent. So, let us have a look about this mechanism in the separate slide. Now, here uh, you see that uh, we are having m n 7 plus plus m. Now, it gives you plus oxidation product. Now, m n o 2 which we are talking about 4 this gives you 2 m n plus o 2 plus twice h 2 o. Now, this m n o 2 plus reducing agent may form plus oxidized product. So, this is uh, the thing related to the KMnO4. Now, another uh, example if uh, we would like to have that is uh, during the initiation uh, step various uh, radical species they may formed and um, at least stable radical species initiate uh, uh, the polymerization while other radical mostly they combine to form uh, least desired or sometimes undesired intermediate. So, sometimes uh, uh, we are not very much interested in those intermediates. So, let us have an example in uh, the case of uh, MN7 uh, Mendelic acid redox system, the stable radical generate uh, benzaldehyde as a side product. Let us have a look about this how this generation takes place. This is uh, mm, uh, your radical which we generated uh, previously, then it reacts and uh, here because uh, we are much more interested in the termination. So, this is the rate of termination, then it gives you Now, here this uh, is uh, highly 
active radical whereas uh, this is having a very much low activity. So, when we talk about the rate of uh, uh, polymerization which is directly proportional to this. So, this is uh, my rate of uh, uh, polymerization. Now, then uh, the generated uh, benzaldehyde uh, is uh, usually known uh, as a chain transfer agent and it results the retardation in the uh, rate of reaction because it is quite obvious it carries the, the radical charge. Now, uh, the chain transfer agents uh, they are helpful in case uh, where molecular weight of the product is to be controlled. So, this is again how uh, we can you can see there are various uh, ways or various uh, compounds through which you can control the rate of polymerization, you can control uh, the molecular weight of the product because sometimes it is quite uh, required the, because uh, you cannot uh, allow the reaction to carry out for longer period because in that case the molecular weight of that polymer may go on the uh, higher side. Now, uh, various uh, examples uh, of uh, such chain transfer agents they may include uh, like uh, aliphatic alcohols like ethanol, methanol, isopropyl alcohol, DMF etcetera. Uh, there may be some methylamine, uh, CCL4, benzene, mercaptan. Sometimes they are under the influence of a metal and down metal ion by activating them. Now, one point need to be noted uh, that uh, the chain transfer agent, if introduced intentionally, they can advance the radical formation by activating the higher state ions and uh, other initiating species. So, this is intentionally and sometimes it is induced or introduced in the polymerization reaction. Now, let us have example of uh, these uh, things like transition metals uh, like vanadium, cobalt, chromium, cerium, manganese, etcetera with the thiourea or thioacetamide or uh, thioglycolic acid and uh, ethanol, uh, ethanol they were used to for the polymerization of acrylonitrile and uh, some people have studied their uh, uh, rate of polymerization and they found that uh, it uh, the dependency in the order of uh, uh, 2 monomer concentration. Now, sometimes the use of uh, advanced technology like uh, electro generation of metal ion like uh, MN3 plus this can increase the effectiveness of uh, radical generation. So, this is again a very useful thing to carry out uh, these radical chain polymerization. Um, another uh, good example of uh, uh, this redox reaction is initiation is the cerium. Uh, now, this uh, cerium uh, is having the molecular weight 58 and uh, represented by Ce. Now, uh, various compounds of cerium like cerium ammonium nitrate, cerium ammonium uh, sulphate, cerium sulphate or perchlorate, they are used in free radical vinyl polymerization. So, the people find it more useful in the different polymerization scheme. Now, perchlorates of uh, cerium 4 have higher oxidation state, it is in the range of 1.7 volt followed by the nitrate and sulphate. So, you can see the different forms of uh, cerium, uh, cerium in this uh, particular slide. Now, usually when we talk about the mechanism, it is quite similar to the reaction involved using uh, manganese metal ion. Um, the cerium ion in presence of uh, reducing agent uh, like monomers etcetera, they form the complex compound and uh, finally oxidize to generate the propagating free radicals. So, let us have a look about uh, this uh, uh, mechanism part related to the cerium. Now, in uh, let us take the example of uh, polymerization of 2-chloroethanol through 
Now, here you see now this is my thing. Now, if it forms with the complex, then it is it becomes C C H 2 C H 2 O H. Now, this is my complex. Now, if we talk about the, the dissociation step, so definitely we have to look into the rate of uh, uh, rate constant of uh, attributed to the dissociation, then it becomes this one. This is act as radical, we are having this. Uh, C E 3 plus plus this one. Now, if uh, uh, we look uh, into the complete uh, polymerization uh, things uh, related to whatever we generated like uh, radical we generated this is uh, C H 2 O H and C L. So, if we talk about the initiation so, here this is your monomer and this is the radical which is being generated over here and this is uh, the rate of initiation you formed like this. Then propagation this rate of uh, the propagation it may form M2 and other things which we discussed previously. Now, it is giving an now foremost importance is attributed to the termination and reaction. Now, termination C 4 plus So, uh, this is uh, my termination step you see that uh, this is uh, the complete uh, uh, this completes the polymerization process. Now, if we talk about the rate of uh, polymerization that is uh, directly proportional to C 4 plus. So, this is uh, the rate of uh, uh, polymerization. Now, this uh, cerium 4 they can uh, uh, show effective uh, radical polymerization in the presence of uh, chelating agent which uh, usually not only work as a reducing agent, but also promote the initiation process. So, uh, uh, in uh, cerium 4 this can show the effective radical polymerization in the presence of uh, chelating agent and sometimes uh, it do not work. Uh, it not only work as a reducing agent, but also promote the initiation process. Now, you know that uh, when we discuss about the metal ion for the redox uh, initiation, the electrochemical generation and uh, regeneration, this also helps in accelerating the radical initiation and propagation process. So, uh, the cerium salt which we discussed in the previous lecture, they are also used in the graft copolymerization of uh, vinyl monomer. Uh, such as acrylonitrile, um, acrylamide and same procedure can be used for making the block copolymers. Now, let us have another uh, uh, metal uh, uh, related to the, the uh, redox initiation process that is cobalt. Now, it is a very strong uh, oxidizing agent uh, and it is used to generate uh, the OH radical from hydroxyl ion and other organic compounds. Uh, um, you can see the, uh, the different uh, mechanism here like uh, this one uh, CO 3 plus plus uh, HO. this is radical and then if we take with the different steps do plus plus H. So, 
CO plus H CO this radical. So, these two uh, steps are uh, conveniently being used uh, for the further propagation and similarly you can have CO3 plus plus CH3OH plus CH3O plus H plus. So, this is uh, the way through which uh, we can proceed uh, uh, further. Now, due to low reduction potential of this uh, cobalt 3 ion, uh, this directly generate the free radical instead of two step procedure which we discussed uh, in case of a cerium and manganese ions uh, in the previous lecture. Now, let us have a look about this uh, particular thing. So, when we discuss about the mechanism of uh, polymerization under this head. Uh, so, polymerization then this becomes CO 3 plus plus 2 plus plus this R radical then R plus this, this uh, radical being ge generated. Now, uh, this can uh, initiate the polymerization uh, process or a polymerization uh, reaction further and propagate the things as per our requirement. Now, here you see that uh, we are using the, the Kp for the propagation. Now, similarly, this uh, becomes M. this one. So, after this uh, when we try to see that uh, uh, what is uh, the protocol for that the termination of this particular polymerization reaction then again we need to help this uh, uh, cobalt and you see that CO3 plus it may get combined to give you Mn plus CO2 plus plus this H plus. So, this is my desired polymer. So, by this way you can see that uh, we discussed about the mechanism of uh, polymerization attributed to this uh, uh, cobalt redox initiation. Now, it uh, usually uh, when we talk about the uses the polymerization of uh, acrylonitrile, acrylamide, methyl methacrylate and methyl acrylate. So, these are the various uh, reaction uh, schemes through which uh, we can proceed uh, for this uh, polyacrylonitrile, polyacrylamide, polymethyl methacrylate and uh, polymethyl acrylate. So, these are the various uh, th uh, things can be used and these are the various structure to be useful for this kind of uh, redox initiation. Now, let us have a look about uh, the initiation aspect in non aqueous media which is our you can say the foremost thing because previously we discussed about uh, the initiation in aqueous media. So, organic peroxide uh, usually in the presence of a strong reducing agent uh, like sometimes tertiary amine, formic acid, sulfonic acid, uh, hydrogen hydrate they can combine to generate free radicals and cationic species like you can see in this uh, particular uh, uh, figure. Now, these uh, radicals they obtain initiate uh, the polymerization in, uh, instead of uh, cationic species. So, let us have a look about the uh, certain polymerization scheme attributed to this non aqueous polymerization. Now, here uh, uh, let us take this uh, example C 6 H 5 uh, CH3 over here, uh, 2 R O O R. Now, this C6 H5 CH3 CH3 then O O R R. 
right so first step and then if you see that uh, this uh, redox reaction in non in under this non aqueous media this becomes uh, now this is uh, uh, the the polymerization process protocol for non aqueous uh, um, media now these radicals uh, which we discussed that uh, they obtained they can initiate the polymerization uh, process uh, instead of uh, cationic X species now the propagating uh, radicals uh, those who are generally found to be terminated only through interaction with another propagating radical uh, but not with the, the initiating radicals. So, apart from peroxide, uh, the transition metals, uh, uh, metal halide redox system, they can also initiate the radical polymerization in non aqueous media. These transition metal compound, they need to be initiated by ligand transfer or a bond season reaction to initiate the redox reaction. We will discuss this thing in uh, sometimes later. Now, the list of those organic and inorganic compound and metal ion used for the redox polymerization is very vast and uh, one cannot easily conclude that particular list. But from the, the discussion which we had uh, carried out earlier, we can understand that the basic mechanism for redox radical polymerization is uh, more or less similar and can be understood through the rate of uh, polymerization equation. Now, uh, let us have a look about uh, the rate of a redox polymerization because we had a discussion about uh, the initiation part, we had a discussion about uh, the aqueous and the non aqueous media initiation um, steps in aqueous and non aqueous media. Now, we discussed the mechanism, the entire mechanism. Now, it is time to have a discussion about the, the rate of redox polymerization. So, the kinetics of uh, a polymerization usually triggered by redox and typically fall into two groups depending on the termination mode. Now, in terms of propagation uh, and the termination step, many of these uh, polymerization proceeds uh, um, in same way as other polymerization. So, uh, the initiation and of course, the radical generation step is uh, quite different. Now, if you compare with the thermal initiation, one electron reaction occur in redox initiation uh, which leads to the production of a single radical at a time instead of two radicals. Therefore, the dependency of monomer concentration should be reduced to, to the factor of 1. Uh, now, let us have a discussion or say that initiation propagation rates uh, we can write uh, like this. Uh, that is we are discussing that rate of redox polymerization. Now, here reductant and plus it combined with oxidants. So, here one electron transfer it may become the radical plus cation. So, R i can be written as reductant into oxidant and R p is equal to K p. This is the concentration of monomer. The reductant upon 2 k t to the power half. So, this reflects the rate of uh, redox uh, polymerization over here. Now, um, uh, the rate of termination reaction in case of uh, radical radical interaction it should be same as that of uh, thermally initiated uh, polymerization. Uh, 
now for the case of uh, termination occurred due to the metal ion, the rate of uh, termination can be written like this. So, let us put that rate of uh, termination for metal ions that is R t is equal to K t metal ion. Now, let us have an example of this one uh, that is uh, this is the radical m n plus it can give you Now, here if we try to write in the in the form of uh, equation then R i m. Now, here this is uh, m represents as I told you that concentration of monomer. Now, R t is equal to K t. and this is the concentration of monomer radical. So, we can write this equation K d K p concentration of monomer then concentration of monomer radical divided by K t. So, this is my uh, equation which is the desired one in this case. So, in this uh, particular lecture we discussed about the uh, the importance of uh, uh, metal ions for redox initiation. We discussed about uh, different kind of a mechanism attributed to this uh, 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 initiation step, especially giving emphasis to the non aqueous media. Uh, we will carry on this uh, particular uh, uh, discussion in the subsequent lecture. Thank you very much.